that this challenge, cyber narrowly, technology broadly, it is forcing uh, real creative innovation on two vectors in the talent world that that have existed that I've seen have caused problems my my entire adult life. One is how do we activate and you know create better connectivity between education and the workplace and activate new talent pools. The second is um, how, how do we get better at moving the talent we have through careers and around the organization? Um, uh, I, I think I can say with some certainty that lo looking at the panel today, I don't think um, any one of us, I, I'm probably the only one in this panel who has a job that actually existed. There were university presidents the day yeah, I took my first job in the workplace, but pretty much every other job uh, in the modern workplace didn't exist 15, 20 years ago. Uh, and, and the far and that becomes more and more and more true. So how we move the talent around internally, how we think, uh, as I was having a conversation once, I was running a professional services firm, and uh, someone from a liquor company, uh, one, a CEO of one of our liquor company uh, uh, clients said, oh, your business is just like mine. You know, I, I need to be thinking 10 years ahead about how much scotch I create because that's how much 10 year old scotch I'll have in 10 years. Um, and as we think about constructing career paths and uh, Mike and Christy, I'm going to ask you guys to comment because you both thought a lot about not only where you find talent, but how you move it through the organization, how you grow it, et cetera. So maybe you can comment a little bit around um, how, how does talent mobility, how, do, how does career pathing work in a world where um, there's going to be chronic needs, and the only way we can meet them is to continue reskilling people and growing them and giving them more responsibility.